we are riding this three-seater bike across America. No um, apparent signs of blood from up here. Our 3,000-mile route starts in Oceanside, California and ends at the Atlantic Ocean in Annapolis, Maryland. It's currently day three and we've ridden 167 of the 3,000 miles. We only have a little over a month to complete the journey. So our goal is to average 100 miles a day on the Trandom for 30 days straight. So far, we learned how to ride the bike. Honestly, I think they started out smoother than we did. We found some metal dinosaurs in the desert, parked the van by the world's largest tennis ball, rode through a sandstorm. Oh, I feel so bad that the guys have to ride through this and learned that riding this bike across the U.S. is actually going to be pretty hard. In this episode, we make it to our second state, Arizona! sleep at a cemetery, have a run-in with the law, almost get hit by more cars, have our first breakdown, and hit our lowest point yet. What's yours? I think I'm 18 and a half. We're all taking measurements of our thigh on the morning of day three. Let's see how big they grow by the end. Do you mind? 18 and a quarter. <laughs> a quarter smaller than me. I've always had no. big thighs <laughs> and calves. Last night we camped on the side of the road in the middle of the desert. And today should be a very exciting day if everything goes to plan because today we are going to be crossing our first state line from California to Arizona. All right, desert bathroom tour. We do have one in the van, but this is what some of the public toilets look like in the desert. Found this guy crawling underneath my foot. Oh yeah! I was thinking I could get the tandem tattoo on my butt since my butt will never be the same. Three, two, one, go. Go, mommy! Oh yeah! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They're off. What happened? They're off All right, day three. This is the first time it feels like we have a little bit of a routine. The first day was us getting the hang of it. The second day was the girls getting the hang of it. This time we just sent the girls out on their own. They're supposed to be doing about 50 miles and then we're just gonna wait at the halfway point, have some lunch, then we'll get on the bike. My butt and my legs feel Shockingly okay. After our 40 mile day yesterday, it's a beautiful morning. We're riding through these epic sand dunes. Who knew there were sand dunes like this in California? Well, we made it a grand total of 10 minutes down the road before we had to stop and play in the sand dunes. <laughs> strong now it's snack time i have no idea how long this southwest snack mix has been in my backpack but very happy to have it today so this could be interesting we're coming up on a border checkpoint that we didn't know existed well just passed a border patrol sign not sure what that means but none of us have our ids our wives are on a, a three-seater bike okay. a couple of miles back but i don't think they have any id or anything is that We just crushed out another 10 miles, taking a little water break. And I was just admiring the stickers. My water bottle, all from Ragbri. If you'd have told me at Ragbri, the first time I had ever rode a bike longer than a couple of miles, that in two years, we would be on this trip across the country on this tandem, I don't know if I would have believed it. Actually, I probably would have because I'm married to Nate Buchanan. This stuff just seems to happen. Man, life is good. Just hanging out in the van, eating a taco, waiting on the girls. I cannot believe we get to do this for the next 27 days. We made it to lunch. You crushed it. Just when I thought I was about to sit down and get to enjoy myself for a little while. I know, right? Oh, 
Oh, you even have the bug mat up. Look at you. I see you didn't throw away the trash. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. <gasps> but. <gasps> Yum. It kind of just looks like most of the chips on top, but. My favorite. And for some reason you have two Thank knives. Thank you. <laughs> It's kind of fun switching rolls. Oh, uh, it's so fun. I feel a lot of pressure cooking Kara meals. <laughs> it's not that she's picky, she just, it's like the more the merrier. The mm. more flavors you could possibly put on something, whether they go together or not, and the stronger those flavors are, the better. I love food. Go girls! I love Evie and Frankie. They have been begging to have their turn on the tandem and they're finally getting to do it. The girls did the first 45 miles today. Now Rick and Evie and Frankie are biking the next 10 miles to the next town of Ripley and then the guys are going to finish out the day. Those kids are the best. This is our first time getting to ride together in the car since the start of the trip. It's so fun. It is a bit lonely in here, isn't it? Oh, it's kind of nice to have some time to myself. Honestly, I agree. <laughs> I thought you were going to get mad at me. These girls Nice work. work. I think, honestly, I, I, just, I think their power to weight ratio is just so good. They don't weigh anything, and I feel like just have little pistons back there. See ya. All right, we have got five hours to the sunset and 60 miles to get to a casino that has free overnight parking. If we can knock that out, we've done 115 miles a day, and we are getting dangerously close to 100 mile per day average. Man, did I need one of these. We're about to have our first border crossing of the whole bike trip. Yeah! Ah! Halfway. Just sitting on the side of the road. California, 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 Arizona! Wow, that was sad by myself. Welcome to Arizona. Thank you! Not really a good place to pull over for those Arizona signs. <laughs> oh, I really wanted to do a handstand in between California and Arizona. She totally hit me. Sent me flying down the ditch. Didn't even stop or anything to make sure I was all right. So Rick is actually the only one in the group who has done a cross-country bike ride. And he's just now telling us that he got hit by a car last time he did this. I was just starting to get comfortable with 10 near-death experiences per day, and now I'm back on edge. Aw, man. We just drove to another road on the Colorado River, hoping to get a picture with the sign, and I don't think they have one. We are on the border, though. All right, this is a big moment. This river right here is the border between California and Arizona. So this is the first of, we think, 12 state line crossings. California, 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 Arizona! I think I threw a Colorado in there. I almost said Arkansas. <laughs> My brain's not getting enough oxygen. One, two, three, Arizona! Arizona! <laughs> we made it! To the casino! <laughs> there was no sign, but the river is the border, and we just had to get out and celebrate. Wow, it's cooler in Arizona. It really is. Well, that was still fun. We did lose the girls, though. I guess we'll just wait for them to show back up. I'm gonna get another snap. Boo! Where's the other little one? I don't know. You don't know? No. She's not in here for real? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna Did have... you know she was here? Yeah. That was way too believable, Frankie. It's actually a little alarming. All right, we are racing the dark clouds behind us. 10 miles to town. They're blowing towards us, but that's also a good thing because it's pushing the bike in the right direction. Wow, and we have made it to Blue Water Resort and Casino. RV dry camping parking. Make a U-turn, then your destination will be on the right. Well, this is exciting. Behind the casino, there is a beach. A beach. Oh, this is perfect because we stink. Do you stink as much as I do? I don't know. Probably not, but I still stink. <laughs> no. Woo! 
Out ran our first dog. Woo! A shower in the Colorado River is just what I needed. That was amazing. Welcome back! We made it! The first day we finished before the sunset. <laughs> nice work! Thanks. I will say this is the first day we finished yeah. and I've been like, oh, It felt no. like we were close. My legs are failing it. Oh no. What a day. What a day. A what third a third of the way across the country. No. Five miles short, but we'll round up. I don't want to already be a third. <laughs> I'm not ready. On the bike we were literally already like, what's next? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> This is where we've ended up tonight, nestled between the casino and the Colorado River where we swam earlier. And it's just stunning. Our campsites just keep getting better, I love it. The best part about van life is you just kind of put them all in a circle and open your doors to each other and it doesn't really matter where you are. For dinner tonight, I am cooking a pasta recipe that I completely made up. Stay tuned. Mushrooms and garlic, cashew cream, plant milk, so much nooch. Pasta water is the key. Mamma mia, look at the pasta. You ready for the best pasta of your life? So ready. Never been more ready. Is this like a Nate Trust food segment? Yep. Just eat it! <laughs> mm. Best pasta you've ever had? Best pasta I've ever had. Really? I chew on cardboard and it would have tasted delicious, but... Stop. <laughs> Real quick, I want to say a big thank you to Magic for sponsoring this video. When we aren't biking across America, I'm usually planning a new trip to a different country or a different city every single week. We have been doing this full time for the last seven years. Kara and I each have our own roles in the relationship and the travel planning almost 100% of the time falls on me. And even though I've been doing it for seven years, it still takes me forever to find the right places to eat, to find the best things to do, the best hotels to stay in. It's just a time consuming process, which is why I am super excited to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Magic. Magic is going to be your new personal AI travel assistant that helps you plan trips and find great places to stay. You can ask Magic questions like, find me a hotel in Paris near the Eiffel Tower or plan a three-day trip to Rome. Now let's use a real life example. After this bike trip, we're headed to New York to attend an award show and I need to find a hotel in the financial district that has a spa because we could both use a massage and I may or may not have promised one to care already. Magic makes finding a hotel that meets those criteria super easy. But what I really love is the Magic review because it summarizes all the independent reviews from all over the internet and it even color codes them, making it super easy to find what's great and not so great about the hotel. Now let's say, after this bike trip, we're feeling like we deserve a couple extra days in the city and we want to plan a trip that focuses on food and seeing some of the major sites. It's super easy just to ask Magic to plan a two-day trip that focuses on the best vegetarian restaurants and the biggest sites in New York. And then it just spits out this beautiful itinerary with all the details you need for the perfect trip. And now in a matter of minutes, maybe even seconds, I have a beautiful two-day itinerary. This is an absolute game changer, but the best part about Magic is that it is completely free. There are no paid plans and it doesn't cost anything extra to book through Magic. So if you're as excited to try it as I was, then just click the link in the description to plan your next trip with Magic. Ready for day four? Yep. I'm a little nervous about today. All right, the girls are off. Back to the Pizza Hut to resume the ride from exactly where we stopped yesterday. Ugh. I am glad I'm not the one that has to ride first thing in the morning, especially after winning $5 at the blackjack table last night. 
I'm considering this my first shower of the trip. I love this! Day four. Having done absolutely zero training for this adventure, besides some lunges here and there, my body is holding up surprisingly well. Like I thought my butt was gonna hurt way worse by this point. My knees are definitely more sore than I would like them to be, especially after the drama that was the Tuscany Trail. That was probably one of my biggest fears going into this, is that that would happen again. But I feel like I've learned from my mistakes. I'm readjusting my seat. I'm sitting in a different position every once in a while, trying to avoid that. And yeah, I feel like we're thriving. I wish there was more drama to make this a little more interesting. I'm just kidding. No, I don't. I didn't say that. I didn't mean it! I'm not sure how the girls are feeling, but honestly, this looks like a pretty horrible road to ride on. There is practically no shoulder, and we have passed a ton of tractor trailers. Just a friendly reminder to anyone who happens to be driving around 72 East through Arizona, slow down! Go around the trimaran! Wait, not a trimaran. Go around the trandom! Be nice! This road has been awful. All right, we've made it halfway. 26 miles to the town of Boos, Bushi, Bozi. We're not sure. There's not much going on here. Gonna have a little water and a snack and get back on the road. Ten off trap. That was crazy. First off, a policeman was just driving straight at me in my lane and practically ran me off the road. And then we just got passed by the biggest thing that I have ever seen driving on the road. I don't know what it is, but it was surrounded by enough policemen that I feel like it had to be something super top secret. That should be an interesting obstacle for the girls. What the heck? What is that, lockers? That thing had like 10 escort police officers taking up the entire row. We had to pull over. All right, Chef Nate is back in the kitchen. I'm gonna see if I can throw together some tofu wraps before Kara gets here. For some reason, I felt like we were gonna have a lot more time on this trip. Like I thought I'd have like four hours in the morning to knock out some work and chill out and then I'd just get on the bike. But by the time you make a plan, move the vans, you have like 30 minutes of free time to do something. Signs from Vicksburg! That's oh, a beautiful sight. This is the first time they haven't come back going, that was the best ever, we crushed it! I mean, we still crushed it. Like, we crushed it. We're feeling like super women. But the cars, like, half of them were great. They get over, zero shoulder the whole time. Yeah, we got flicked off. Like, my head almost got taken off by multiple rear view mirrors, and it's just scary because there's like nothing we can do. Wow. The day's off to an exciting start. I definitely haven't seen the girls this spicy the whole trip. I put some cat food on top just for you. This is actually my favorite cat food. <laughs> Thank you. It's actually a buffalo dip. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a cat. No, no. Gosh, I will never get over how fun this roll reversal is. 10 out of 10, baby. Let's go, Chef Nate's back in the house. This is by far the least I've wanted to get on the bike. I'm clean from swimming in the river. It's hot, I'm full. Your review of the road didn't make me excited to ride today. There's no wind, which kind of is under the same category as I'm hot. But this is what we do. We show up day in and day out. I'm trying to pump myself up here. You got this! And I've also gone into safety man mode early. <laughs> I didn't realize these were like suspenders. I kind of love that. Yeah. <laughs> mm, I love you, safety man. I kind of miss you. I You're know. On the bike, and, I'm on the bike. and then we get in bed, and I'm like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Does anyone have sunscreen on? Okay, yes. we're going to go after this car. <laughs> safety man is also sun safe. See ya. Have a good one. Here See you there.
this feeling is just so lovely. Just knowing that like I did my part and now I just have to get myself to the mating point. Get us fed tonight. Those are my two duties the rest of the day. <laughs> we are following the boys right now. Ooh, the door is open. This town isn't um, a vibe necessarily, and it's very hot. So we're just gonna go ahead and do our hour drive to the next town and meet them there. We made a left turn pretty shortly after leaving the vans, and it put us on a different road. It's only got a few feet of shoulder. But it's amazing what a difference a few feet will make. It looks like somebody just painted these clouds on the screen. Oh, this town we're about to go through is called Hope. There's hope ahead. Don't lose hope. There's hope. Hope that we may finish this bike ride without getting hit by a car. The road has turned to gravel and we are now turning on a road called Cemetery Road right off of Ghost Town Road. Not sure how I feel about this. All right, we've come to a little spot on the side of the road where they can't miss us. And while we're waiting for the dads, my I'm little making, helper and I, what I'm are we making doing? Carol's banana, oats, chocolate, cinnamon, um, peanut butter, yum, malicious cookies. <laughs> I mean, she's not wrong. We start off by smushing the bananas. most rotten bananas we could possibly Look find. at that. Look at that. Disgusting. Yeah. So bad, but so good. <laughs> right? These have become my favorite cookies of all time. They're healthy and they're so easy. And so good. easy. And they're delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could smell the van right now. What's it smell like? Delicious. <laughs> I made pasta last night and it smelled like hardcore garlic in here when I woke up. And now it's gonna smell like cookies. I love yummy smells. Bye. Look how many flies have accumulated on Rick's helmet and bag while we've been sitting here. There's like literally seven million flies. <laughs> uh, right, back on the road. The hill never ends. Wow, sunset early tonight. I'm not gonna lie, today's been a little bit of a grind. It's amazing what a difference a little headwind and a one or two percent uphill grade will do to your progress. We've just passed 50 miles and by the end this will be our second shortest day so far but somehow it feels like the longest. Am I just bringing the positivity back here or what? Oh uh, no, I feel the same. <laughs> Look at that sexy safety man! Oh. <laughs> Look at that! Oh. Look at yes. that! Is that pizza? Yeah, no, yes. that's, that's Wow. I, I made them. Amy made these. All by herself. Thank you, ladies. We were grinding and my butt oh, is grinded. <laughs> How are you, scale one and ten? Uh, my whole body? Wait, is ten good or bad? Ten is like optimal. Like that's when you started. You were a ten. I would say my body's like a seven or eight. My butt's like a two. Oh. We stopped and got off the bike for a second, and I was like, my butt feels a little moist. I was like, I really hope that's sweat and not blood. <laughs> and Dusty was like, I literally just had the same thought. Just like checking a baby's diaper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no um, apparent signs of blood from up here. This is so fun. I love biking across America. <laughs> Biking across America. <laughs> I think we were all a little hungry. Where would we go if we were from Beyond Prescott? 
Is there anything Someone you don't know? Very, this feeling. We are making this entire thing up as we go. We're literally doing math over seats at a bar in the middle of the pool game. Figuring out how far we need to go tomorrow. I love this crew. Good morning. We parked next to a cemetery last night, which feels pretty appropriate for the season. Yeah, I mean, we just need to do the right thing for our reader to offer the most value. Kara's filming me over here. <laughs> <laughs> this is what biking across America and running businesses looks like. <laughs> 7 a.m. business calls in bed before the chaos My of the day too. begins. The little girls are riding the first, well, <laughs> the little girls minus Beck, are riding the first seven <laughs> miles on the bike today. They're gonna meet them at the gas station and then the big girls are gonna get on the bike. Uh, I feel like I'm back on the Colorado Trail. I still think I much prefer the morning shift over the boys' afternoon shift, but it has been so nice this morning getting to finish my coffee and not put on my disgusting chamois and sunscreen and all like first thing in the morning. So thank you, Evie and Frankie and Beck. But that's basically like all downhill. We are planning today's route in front of a gas station on top of an ice machine. <laughs> we were thinking like Why we got a nice hot to spring. always bring the facts into it? Because you, 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 you just make up these like fanciful, you know what, so we'll do the climb and then it's just like all downhill for you guys. <laughs> Except for that, it's twice as much climbing for us and you'll be at a hot spring at the end. <laughs> This is how you could tell Rick's butt is in a lot of pain. He's never the one <laughs> to try to not have to ride the bike. I, I need to go see a doctor for my back side right now. <laughs> what did you tell me your butt looked like last night? It looked like one of those baboons with the red butt. <laughs> <laughs> Ew! <laughs> see how natural geographic? I know. <laughs> this morning he goes, do you think they sell hemorrhoid cream? <laughs> I just feel like it would be, it would reduce the inflammation. I think everyone's butt hurts, but just listening to Rick talk about how bad his hurts somehow makes mine feel better. They would think I'm in heat. The baboons would try to mate with me. Gladiators, ready? Ready to climb? I'm ready. Good luck, girls. High oh, five. Can't yeah. you do it? Starting off with a lovely downhill, but pretty soon we're going to be pedaling uphill for a very long time. Just mentally preparing to be in a lot of pain today. But thankfully we have a shoulder. A little bit. Is that? Oh no. <laughs> I was actually really hoping that wasn't them. I feel like we sat at the gas station for like 30 minutes and they've only made it five miles down the road. We're starting what's going to be about 10 miles of uphill and it's a little daunting because we're just pretty much riding straight towards the mountain that we're about to have to go over. Thankfully, as far as I can see, this is a three lane highway, so I don't think the cars are gonna be an issue. <laughs> you got this! This does look like a pretty monstrous climb. This is gonna be a long day. 7% grade, crushing it. Of course it looks flat as a pancake on the GoPro. <laughs> Where are we starting? Wow, this is a serious climb. You know it's bad when it's winding back and forth on itself. I think today may be a bigger effort than we had all hoped. What's your name? My name's Peter. Are you from here? Yeah, I live at the bottom of the hill. How often do you bike this mountain? Um, I've probably done it uh, over a thousand times. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh, I'd be delighted. I've never seen three pretty ladies on one bicycle before. <laughs> that hill felt absolutely massive. And if you look at the elevation profile for what we were planning on doing today, there's three really sharp peaks, and that one was the smallest of the three. What, 500 more feet? Yeah. 500 feet of climbing. Okay, Chef Nate is back in the kitchen. It's a very complicated one today. I put the pan on the oven and we ordered way too much food last night because we were all starving from being on the bike all day. So now I have to take the frozen pizza out of the fridge and then finally I'm going to gently place the frozen pizza into the pan. But that's not all. Whee! 
did it! Woo! With this ah. out there. Ladies, we are so good at riding across America. <laughs> 2,000 feet. Like it was nothing. This is the secret ingredient to make Kara love anything. You just put enough of these on something until she starts sweating and then she thinks it's amazing. <sighs> Coasting down a bike lane. Life is good. I love it up here. Look at this little town. So now that we've guaranteed that Kara will sweat while she eats her pizza, we'll put the lid on that and hopefully it'll be warm by the time she gets here. We had such a day the girls and now you carefully remove it and put it on the plate. Oh my gosh. Wait, but is your nose sweating? No. Uh oh. You toasted it to perfection. Mm, thank you. Nay thank time. You. This takes skill. I know. You're the best. I need a turbo pulse, Jimmy. All right, we've got about four hours until the sun sets. There are two massive climbs in front of us. We're gonna meet the girls at the bottom of the first one and then decide whether or not we have it in us to do the second one. It's probably gonna depend a lot less on our legs and a lot more of the daylight that we have left. And now the girls are heading to... I already forgot the name of where we're going. Pentkoff? Wherever the boys are riding. And we have quite the to-do list when we get there. Do laundry and go to the grocery store. My favorite thing! More snacks, more snacks, more snacks. On day one, we jumped in the Pacific Ocean. On day three, we swam in the Colorado River. And on day five, we don't quite have an option feel refreshed and we're running low on water so I can't actually take a shower although we do have one and we have a fancy new shower head that I'm really keen to use so in the meantime we're taking what I call a wipey bath so I've literally just gotten it wet and added a few drops of essential oil what is that is there a space like rocket taking off trying to find quarters to go do laundry and all I have are Mexican coins. I guess Mexico is the last big van trip we did. Woo! Top of the climb. We did it, one down. 6,000 feet. 127 to go. <laughs> Clean Shockingly, Nate and I have only been to like, I don't know, five laundromats ever so we usually end up like booking an airbnb that has laundry or end up at someone's house but laundry mats are great i paid three dollars and fifty cents to do a whole load and then the dryer was only 50 cents per every 10 minutes and everything was dry in 20 minutes so 450 no wait i paid for 50 cents. Or so I paid a dollar or so. Yeah, 450. <laughs> I should have not taken that long to do math, but yeah. Laundry is done. Now it's time to stock up on some snacks. Dusty pointed out that this is the first city we've driven through since starting in Oceanside. I'm not gonna lie, I don't miss the cars in the city. Safeway. Food makes me way too happy. It smells like a cinnamon cookie in here. Bagels. Nate and I could not be more opposite when it comes to foods. I'm gonna eat an everything bagel with cream cheese for breakfast. I wanna get Nate whatever the sweetest possible donut is. And she is. I get more of these. I'll just take the whole box. Nate requested veggie sticks. It's favorite cereal. If anyone lives in Prescott and they saw three idiots. Riding a train a bicycle down the side of the highway. Alrighty then. All stocked up. Ooh. 
that's the mountain that we have to get to the top of before it gets dark. One thing we've noticed is that animals are incredibly interested in this bike. Like a hundred cars can pass them and they won't even pull their head off. And then we ride past and they all just sit there and stare. Cows, deer, everything we've passed. We're all good, thank you. Oh, that was so nice. So Sarah and I passed the guys and then pulled over as soon as we could. Well, the whole thing is that's a ride and we're just yeah. gonna do it. Yeah. Yeah. Are those your two bands up there? Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to those. Yeah, they're waiting on you. Cool. Okay, awesome. Yeah, thanks for stopping. It kind of got dark on the way. <laughs> Appreciate it. We're only 5.2 miles from where we were gonna go anyway, so it's just not worth it. Day five in the books. Now there is one caveat with the Alaska match, and that is that you need to... Good afternoon. Shameless plug, I was just listening to the Daily Drop podcast. Surprise, we have a podcast now. It's day six. It's day six, and it's pretty much gone as per usual. The girls climbed up an insane mountain. Then we got to go all the way back down the other side, met the boys in Camp Verde. They just happened to be parked at the Taco Bell. We don't have to set up yet. Nate, I love your cooking. Just whatever the this really the hits the spot. <laughs> so it was a fun change. Now, boys are on the bike, girls are in the van, and we are all driving all the way to a place called Happy Jacks. Like, that's literally what it's called. <sighs> 500 plus miles in. We've just gotten our first flat of the trip. Thankfully it was in the shade. If I'm being completely honest, I needed a break riding up this hill. And best of all, Rick and Desi are on top of it and know exactly how to fix it. So we'll be back on the road in no time. Got our campsite all set up and now we just wait for the dads. Hopefully this new tube that we installed holds up because the girls are already at camp 40 miles that way. Also, my allergies have been killing me today. I've just been crying and my nose has been running on the back of the bike. <laughs> Drama! We are all settled into this lovely camp area. And now we're packing up and driving closer to the guys because I don't think they're gonna make it here until, I don't know, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock. I hope they're okay. They had a huge day. We're coming for you boys, keep pedaling! Just keep pedaling, just keep pedaling, just keep pedaling, pedaling, pedaling. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. So we're heading back 24 miles, 35 minute drive to where we think they can make it. So this is gonna put us quite behind, but it's fine, we have some wiggle room. Hopefully stuff like this doesn't happen too often. <laughs> oh gosh. Hey! How's it going? How are you guys doing? Going to DC! <laughs> Honestly, anything to uplift the spirits right now. All right, we just made it to camp. The guys are only about a mile away from here. It is just getting dark outside, and I think all is well. I'm gonna have some nice hot dinner ready for him when he gets back. Oh. They're here! Yay! Is this on? Maybe. Mama, you don't do this. Hardest day so far. Your food is I almost ready. Catch. Are you serious? Yeah. On a scale of one to day 15 of the Colorado Trail, how are you? I'm not sure that's a confusing rating system for me right now. <laughs> mini Vegemites from our hotel in Sydney. <laughs> Day seven, <laughs> one week in. She knocked two drinks over. She knocked over. my drink over. She knocked another drink over. 
<laughs> and then went to get the paper towels to save us and ripped them off the wall. And now the paper towel dispenser is broken. What? All in about five seconds, she just destroyed everything that matters this morning. Coffee is gone. Good morning, cows. Well, that's random. It is the morning of day seven, so we are almost a week into this bike ride. And I feel like if I would have picked the camera up yesterday before we started riding, this would be a completely different conversation. To be honest, I think it's it's a little harder than everyone expected. Part of me feels like I don't remember what life was like before we were biking across America. <laughs> like, what was life? And the other part of me can't believe it's day seven. Woo! Bye, I love you. Bye. Crash out the miles so I don't have to do as much. <sighs> Girls are starting off with a big climb, but it is a brand new paved road, which is pretty satisfying. We have 2,600 feet of climbing today. Over the course of 44 miles, let's do this. All right, we are on our way to meet the girls for lunch. Our 40 gallon water tank in the back of the van is almost empty, so hopefully we're gonna find somewhere to fill up before we meet them. I'm really not sure what happened yesterday. The guys got on the bike in the afternoon and we set off thinking that we were gonna knock off 61 miles before it got dark. Long story short, and I wish that I could blame more of this on the flat tire, we knocked out 30 of the 60 miles. So we only made it half as far as we had hoped to, which was pretty demoralizing. It feels like we're a little behind pace, and I know that that's just gonna get worse and worse as we hit the Rocky Mountains over these next few days. You know, those were really hard miles. In, in some ways, it was harder than any day, uh, for me at least, that, that I did on the Colorado Trail. We're crushing it. We're crushing it. Like, ladies specifically. All right. Thriving. We're thriving. It is seriously mm, mm, so mm. much better than I thought it would have been. I, I got a pretty good saddle rash going, but uh, that'll get better. Uh -oh. Hi, Trandum's first construction zone. Okay, I've yet to figure out how to not make this happen when I pull the hose out because, yeah, gravity. Oh, that one wasn't so bad. It usually spills everywhere. Just always leave this towel back here just in case. Well, just call us bike mechanics. <laughs> oh my gosh! So a little bit of chain problems. Don't worry, the woman, wait, what are we called? The lady climb crushers can handle anything. It was $8.20 to fill up the tank. It always feels a little ridiculous to pay for water. Like that just feels like something that should be free, but in the grand scheme of things, not so bad for a week's worth of water. We knew going into this from looking at the elevation profile that the next week from here on out is going to be the hardest section of the entire trip. So that really the next 700 miles, there is just a ton of elevation. So we have to finish out Arizona, go through Utah, and then climb some massive mountains in Colorado. And then once we get to mile 1200, in comparison to what we've done, it will basically be all downhill and get way easier. I feel like I just rode the bike. <laughs> Let's go! Easy miles today, baby! Good luck, boys! Girls are heading to Flagstaff, where we are gonna run some errands, and then maybe, just maybe, we'll get a shower today. Nice work! Hey! The first hour of today is exactly what we needed to pull us out of our funk. It's been mostly downhill, smooth road, very few cars, wide shoulder, beautiful views of the lake. We are cruising. But this crew is fresh out of Shamley Butter. Literally all of us. So that's the first on the list. Bicycle. <gasps> Those are so cute. <laughs> Woo! We made it to Flagstaff! 
never been so happy to be riding on almost flat ground beside cars. I just don't know where the afternoons go. They might even beat us to the campsite tonight. <laughs> I always feel like I'm gonna have all this time and then the day's just gone. And of course we ran out of time to take a shower. After all of that, how did this happen? What a day. Let's go. I can't believe yesterday and today we're all within the 24 hour period. It's not dark. Technically the sun went down behind the mountain, but you know. We beat the girls to camp. What a difference. <laughs> <laughs> between yesterday and today. Oh, <laughs> week one. Oh. Every day, whenever we get on the bike, we think we're gonna get done around 5.30, have a nice slow evening, eat dinner, hang out. But I don't know that there's been a day where we're not finishing in the dark, and then it's like, oh, eat real quick, go to sleep. You know, we just, we're a group that likes hanging out and doing, and doing fun things together. And I think when we hatched this plan, we just envisioned you know, frolicking through the countryside on a triple bike. And in reality, it's actually pretty hard. I'd say my only thing is I wish we had a little more free time with all of us together. Yeah. It's gonna test us a little bit, probably more than we were expecting, but that makes it that much more fun in the end. I'm so happy with the way it's gone the last seven days, and I know it's only gonna get better. You're loving it too, Evie? Yes. Yep. Except that I'm I have so to proud of us. school along the way. Yeah. We're all thriving, obviously. Yay. How good is this? <laughs> Have you decided on your drink? Beer, water, I'll definitely take beer. That is a wrap. Only one. The old people driving RVs, <laughs> get over! Slow down! Don't flick me off! I'm like, thank you, like smiling, and all of a sudden they're like, nah! Like, we didn't do anything. We're as close to the edge as we can possibly get. There was a law, I just learned. Three feet. Three feet. Mm. You're breaking the law, old guy. <laughs> but, uh, is this broken or just not charged? Oh, it oh. just wasn't on. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I've been> <laughs> that's, <laughs> even, that's even worse. These dang cars keep running us off the road. Always those white vans yelling at us. I just saw this joke on a sign. When is a door not a door? When it's a jar. <laughs> yeah. All right, we just switched drivers. Dusty's on the front. <laughs> Rick is the only one strong enough to drive the car. 